Now it's a hot summer day and I'm starving half to death. I need to eat now. And the fastest, easiest, and best pasta to eat in the summer heat is spaghetti limone. So let's jump right into it. Now the first thing we gotta do is get a pot of water on the stove and get it boiling. I'm gonna make about two portions of spaghetti limone or about one portion if you eat a lot. So I'm just gonna use this medium sized saucepan to cook the pasta. Now I've made this recipe before on the channel and shortly after that I got a comment saying you gotta check out Frank Prisanzano's method. I ended up eating at one of his restaurants Frank restaurant or Little Frankie's, I forget which one, and had it and it was fantastic. It was pure. And it's just a fun way to eat it, the way that he sort of presents it with a mound of Parmesan cheese on top. I believe he's got a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down below. And to make it, it starts with some lemon, some unsalted butter, grated Parmigiano Reggiano, and spaghetti. We're just gonna wanna give the lemon a cut in half. You don't really need to remove the seeds right now because we're gonna strain them out. You can sort of think of this sauce as like a Alfredo sauce, but with lemon. The Alfredo sauce in Italy, not the American one. And I'm gonna take about a half stick of butter. I'll just cube it up. And we're gonna want this cold, so it's been out for a minute, softened up. I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator to get cold again before we use it. Now I got some grated Parmigiano Reggiano here from my Italian specialty market that I know grates it fresh. There's no starch in there or anti-caking agent, which is in most pre-packaged Parmesan. So if you know you have a good store that grates it fresh with a really powerful machine that grates it super fine, go ahead and get it. Otherwise, you're gonna wanna stick with grating it yourself and using the fine diamond side of a box grater. But depending on where you you live, you should have a grocery store that does that kind of stuff, a deli, somebody who does it fresh. And then we've got our regular spaghetti that we're going to use. And this cooks al dente in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. I'm gonna measure out about eight ounces of pasta, which for a date I'd serve for two people, but at home I'd eat for one. So that's really it, besides the cheese, the lemon, the pasta and the butter, and some salt in the water, barely any prep. It's the beauty of this recipe. When you need to eat, you make this recipe and it's basically done in 10 minutes. Now the water should be boiling. I'm gonna add enough salt so that the water tastes like a seasoned broth, but not like seawater. That's almost always too much salt. Then drop the pasta in and get it submerged in the water. Next to that, I have my saucier. And I'm just gonna get the heat on low and warm the pan up before I form the sauce in it. I also forgot to set a timer. So I'm gonna subtract a minute from the 10 minutes to al dente and set it for nine. Keep the pasta moving, and you see this foam settling at the top of the water? That's that starch. It's why a pot relative to the amount of pasta you're cooking is important. A large pot would dilute too much of that starch, and we need it for the sauce. We also need to warm a plate. We're making a butter sauce here, and serving that on a cold plate will seize it up immediately. So I'm gonna set it to the back of the stove to get warm. Now the saucier seems to be warm. I'm gonna shut it off right before I take a ladle and pull out about a one cup of the starchy pasta water and add it to the saucier. Then I'm gonna squeeze the juice of the lemon using a strainer to catch the seeds and toss the juiced lemons directly into the pot. By now the pasta has been cooking for about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna give it a taste. I wanna make sure it's fully al dente because we're not going to use a lot of heat to form the sauce in the pan. Fish out the spaghetti and transfer it to the saucier and then stir it around to combine. Then add in the butter and continue stirring until the butter emulsifies with the water and the lemon. And while you're stirring it, you're beating up the lemon skins, releasing the oils and the zest into the pasta, intensifying the lemon flavor. Then you have this lemony, buttery broth, and I want it lighter. If you wanted a thicker broth, a heavier broth, then you could just work in more butter, and that's up to you. We're ready to go, and unlike my version, we're not gonna add the cheese into the pan and the pasta. Let me show you why I love this pasta. In a warm bowl, you wanna form a large mound of the spaghetti, and then I'm gonna add one of those lemon halves so you know what the star of this dish is. To that, I'm going to pour the sauce in, and it's going to pool at the bottom of the plate. Next thing we're gonna add is a literal ton of grated Parmesan cheese right on top, and the difference here is the texture. After you use a fork to pick up that mound of pasta, the Parmesan cheese begins to cascade down, dusting and coating the strands of pasta and the grated parm, creating a texture of those little bits of Parmesan cheese in the mouth that you don't always find in a creamy pasta. But also as you mix and toss that pasta around and twirl the pasta with a fork into the plate and scoop it out, just like an Alfredo sauce in Rome, the sauce forms in the plate and it becomes incredibly creamy and thicker. It's light, it's lemony, it's fast, it's spectacular. It's the perfect pasta to eat in the summer heat. Recipe is going to be linked down in the description. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself. <laughs>